Hello there, I'm Black Bright. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on which part of the world you're listening from. Um, yes, I just wanted to do a quick video. I'm not going to talk. I'm going to let the videos talk for me because we've only got two weeks and I just thought it was important for you to have some information that I've come across. You might have come across it already, but I th still think it's important for you, just in case you haven't. You've heard about Trump coming for our NHS. When you're dealing in trade, everything's on the table. So NHS or anything else, everything will be on the table, absolutely. Boris Johnson denies it. But can you believe him? This is the headquarters of the Institute for Free Trade, the IFT. They're a conservative think tank campaigning to privatise the NHS and let American corporations run our hospitals. Take a look at this story in the Times from a year ago. Let US firms run hospitals, urges Free Trade Group. Ministers should allow American healthcare companies to compete with the NHS to run hospitals as part of a free trade pact after Brexit, a think tank recommends. So, who hosted the IFT's big launch event? Who gave them free use of the Foreign Office map room for the launch? And let taxpayers pick up the £6,000 bill? Boris Johnson. And what did he say about the IFT at their big launch event? And I declare this is true, 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 true institute of free trade. He also said that IFT is on a noble mission. A crucial think tank on a noble mission. That's how Boris Johnson describes the people trying to hand over the NHS to Trump's America. I mean, if you've um, listened to any of my um, videos regarding the NHS, I've already given my views. I know that NHS is on the table. And, well, I shouldn't say I know. My instincts tell me that NHS is on the table. And so I'm just going to show you one other short video. Um, and I'll leave you to make up your minds. I'm not here to sway in any way, but I am here to share information for people that I care about. Their manifesto and the sun has attacked it as divisive. And you know what? They're right. On the one hand, there's everyone who will be better off. Nurses, doctors, soldiers, police officers, teachers and firefighters who are getting a pay rise. Anyone who uses the NHS who are happy it's not been sold off to Trump. Anyone who wants to live in one of the million new homes that will be built. Anyone on a minimum wage or a zero hours contract. Anyone whose child is in an oversized class. Anyone who likes free and fast broadband. Parents who will benefit from free childcare. Elderly people who will receive free social care. And anyone of the 95% of people who won't have to pay a penny more in taxes. They're all pretty happy with the Labour Manifesto. On the other hand, if you're one of the UK's 150 billionaires or an oil baron, you will have to pay more tax. Sorry, not sorry. And if you're a billionaire that just cares about your bank balance, you probably should vote Tory. In fact, you probably already do. A third of British billionaires are funding the Conservative Party. But while they have their billions and control of the media, there are millions of us and together we can get the truth out. Share this video and oh yeah, vote Labour. Thing is, is that you know, there'll be people who, regardless, because we've been lied to by politicians for all, most of our lives, it's very hard to kind of say, oh, who's speaking the truth? Is it concoction? Is it, you know, hypothetical? Is it real? Is it true? But all you can do is go by your instincts. That's all you can do. My instincts tell me, the NHS, what if we if we um, vote certain ways, the NHS is going to be Americanized. I've said before, I believe that Trump has been the one who has been saving the NHS by pumping all these billions and he's not going to put all those that money in without getting something back. So might be wrong, you know, stand corrected if I am wrong. But, you know, we just have to be very careful what we're doing. Between now and the 12th of December, 
we have to make a choice about how we want our future to look like. We cannot allow the immigration question to sway us because that is what is happening. That is what they're throwing out at everybody. Immigration, immigration, to make it look as though we are the cause. We are not the cause. It's bad management of the country. I'm not saying that um, illegal immigration hasn't caused a dent, but I'm not, we are not the major cause. And we're, you know, I am so concerned about the minds of people and how they're so frustrated and how their minds have been swayed and they just do not know what to do. They genuinely do not know what to do for the best. All I'm saying is it depends what you care about. We all have different priorities. That lady in that video, she listed out the priorities. Normally, they kind of go, they're kind of supporting the working and the middle classes. And so if you are well off, it's not going to mean anything to you. It doesn't really matter what she says. It doesn't really matter whether the NHS is sold off because if you're wealthy, you'll have private health care. But, you know, it all, like I said, it all depends what your priorities are. And I'll leave you with that. Bye bye. <laughs>